Woohoo! So this is really... Check these out. Check these sounds out. Hey everybody, I'm Neil Evans, aka Read Books, and this is Read Books World. I'll be taking a look at various parts of the music world from production, recording, writing, engineering, how I use all these in my creative process, as well as gear and product reviews and courses that I will be offering. So let's get into this first episode where I thought it would be fun to create an intro for Read Books World. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can stay up on the latest content that's posted. If you're into what you're seeing, click the like, share this, um, leave any comments, questions you may have, or suggestions for future content that you would like to see. All right, let's check out what I worked on. So, theme song. What is a theme song? This is just straight Wikipedia. Theme music. Theme music is a piece that is often written specifically for a radio program, television program, video game, or movie, and is usually played during the intro, opening credits, ending credits, and in some instances, at some point during the program. I'm not going that deep with it, but this is just a theme song for this show. Basically, you know, I want to have something, you know, if I was like um, doing a product review and I'm like, all right, today I'm going to be reviewing Scrub Rubber Dubs. You know, and then I'm like, let's go drop that theme song. This is what I worked on for the read books world. And what I initially thought of was I wanted to do some fun, like sci-fi trap kind of vibe. So this is what I came up with. I'm going to take you through the various parts of, you know, and kind of the thinking that I had behind this. Okay, so first, like when I when I kind of you know think of a song, there there are a few ways that it, it the music comes to me. It's often the rhythm that I hear first and feel first, like kind of the body of the song. It could also be a bass line that I might hear first, and I'll build everything around that. It could be chords that I hear. It could be the melody that I hear. And sometimes it's all together. I just hear it as a complete piece that then I have to hash out when I record. So for this, I was like, let's make it easy. Um, Cause I already knew the sonic textures that I wanted. If I'm going for like some sci-fi, like I'm thinking Blade Runner, right? Um, just kind of classic synth stuff. Want to have some 80 synths in there. And so I already knew I wanted some pads, some arpeggiated sounds, um, some kind of haunting noise sounds. But let, let's go through the, the actual beat first. Like I said, sci-fi trap. So I went ahead and built the beat. Let's just go through them. What we got here? Kick. Snare. Um... I I really like weird sounds when I'm working on music. They um they just uh, anything that's glitchy um kind of these little clangy metallic sounds. I, I think they're good. They they create like they often create some other type of weird motion within uh, the song that you might not even hear once it's in the mix, but it's just adding that extra rhythm and texture within the within us tune. So here we go. I think that's just another snare. Again, uh, uh, you know, right here, like, so that's just like this, could be like a clap or a crack, like kind of a sucking afterwards. Glitch static, love it. Clap, classic, you know. Ooh, here we go. Now that's just kind of like a riser, but, and when I remember when I heard, heard I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out how to use that. And that's usually, I, I kind of try and work quickly when I'm choosing sounds because I know what I want. And I don't have go-to sounds. I don't like my, the, any beats that I'm working on or any music to 
to sound the same. I may go back and use a sound and I'll try and use it a different way, but I often just try and reach for new sounds every time I'm working on a piece of music. Ooh, there we go. Now there's that like ominous, that kind of droney sound. There we go. That's some sci-fi. Now, I, I got to tell you, I was just feeling this because um, as soon as I heard it, and I know it doesn't sound anything like it, but I thought of the um, Mad Men intro that I, I'm pretty sure RJD2 did that right. Um, and there's that when the figure is kind of falling off the building at the end to the abyss, there's just this long, droney, weird sound. And I was like, ah, oh, that's cool. So again, you get inspired by sounds. You're like, oh, that reminds me of such and such. I know it doesn't sound anything like it, but I thought it'd be. So those are the sounds. But then what do we do with them? All right, well, then from there, let's see what I have on this track. Just uh, straight kind of like, so I just built this like percussive groove that I wanted behind that the beat that I was going to work on, right? Separate percussion track. Here we go to an arpeggiated sound that I have. So here now we're getting into like the the sonic textures that I uh, or the more melodic textures that I wanted to have in here. Again, for me, that's just like you know, when I'm thinking sci-fi. I want just since since that's kind of what i'm i'm going for dig the dig the art dig the arpeggiated sound and here again so i played this arpeggiated and that's something i like to do also um i don't even when i go for an arpeggiated sound i often like to play them um it, even if this, like with this, this was an arpeggiated sound, I probably could have held down one note, but I decided to play. And there's other cool things that you'll realize you can do if you actually play melodies with arpeggiated sounds, sounds that are already kind of triggered. You might hold down, uh, you know, a note for like half a bar and then move to playing a melody and hold it down for, you know, another beat or so. And so that's that's a cool thing to do. Play arpeggiated sounds. Just don't hold that note. And you can. It's always fun to see what happens with them. I have a bass here. Again. Oh. I mean that's that's classic. I I just love the uh, you know you throw an arpeggiated bass. Some analog sounding you know synth. It, it's it's it, it's kind of instant. It just takes you right there. Ooh, so another thing I like to do. So as the song kind of progressed, I like to bring in other sounds that will accentuate. So here, here I'm, I'm using two basses. Um, and this is this longer, this longer bass here that goes along with this arpeggiated right here. See, here's both of them together. Cool way to just kind of think about when you're arranging a song, like how you want it to build and where you want it to build and how you can emphasize different sounds. One way is just layering, duplicating those sounds, double them, triple them, and find different, um, you know, you want to try and find different textures um, to work with when you're when you want to layer sounds, you know, just, to, but it, you know, it all depends on what you're doing. Like, you know, if you had two like bell sounds, you might want to find a higher one. You might want to find a lower one. You might want to double a bell sound with another synth or, you know, or, or even something different, like a bell sound that's very tacky with a pad and just kind of see what happens. You know, here we go, just adding noise. Ah, okay. So this is a synth sound. This is cool. Again, so this sound already had that. Here is a synth sound that had noise in it already. Again, just gives it this other excitement and this other energy. 
that it probably wouldn't have had if it was just the single synth sound or just the single noise on its own. Ooh, there we go. Short. Kind of. Again, so, so here's another thing. Here's kind of this longer pad, but I used it. I, I was pulsing it more. Little staccato, but like, like more of a, just a pulse, a soft pulse. And so those are the sounds. Those are the sounds. It's not really much, but let's, uh, let's check out what this song actually sounds like. Right? Okay, so that, so I already had in mind, good thing you wanna do, like when you're creating a song, like I'm thinking about the length, the time that I have allotted for what I wanna kind of achieve. So I knew this was just an intro, right? Man, it could be, it could be five seconds, it could be 10 seconds, 15, but I wanted, but one th thing I thought about doing was say when I do an intro of one of the episodes, I thought about, okay, there might be some graphics here that come on, um, which we'll eventually do, and then maybe do an episode on that, how we created the graphics to go along with this. But one thing I really wanted to do was say, when this starts, just gives a little moment here, right? Gets you into like, okay, what's this episode gonna be about? And I was very conscious right here that I wanted this music just to kind of linger. So there was like a little backdrop as I started an episode and it just didn't go to dead silence. So I just thought about having this, something that could like fade out. And just be this little backdrop of sound, you know, behind while I was talking. So that was why I decided to do this. And, uh, and right here, what you're hearing right now is not the final mix. This is basically just how I work when um, I'm creating something and I try and move fairly quickly. So I might adjust some levels just so they're in the relative ballpark. And I'm, I'm really not mixing as I go ever, ever, because to me that's just as much of a creative process as it is for me composing or writing a song is mixing. You know, they're the, to me, they're the, the same things. Like I want to spend time with that and ideas come just as they do when I'm creating music, they come when I'm mixing. And it allows me to take that composition in a different direction when I start mixing. Basic general levels, you know, I just try and hear so I can hear things and what they're doing. Yeah, so the cool thing will be like, you know, what this is going to turn into. Um, like again, I had the idea of just doing this sci-fi trap beat for the intro. And one thing that I think is really cool about, you know, being my own show, like I can flip this music and I actually plan to do this, you know, just kind of flip the music up throughout these episodes. And I might stick with this for a while and then get this little creative spark and make some new music. And, uh, and and kind of take it in a different direction, but um, but I thought this would be good for like this new journey of rebooks world. So I also so then I was sitting around listening to just the beat on its own. You know, I kind of like isolated it. I was like, oh, let me check out what this sounds like. Ooh. So that's that's the beat, right? And I was like, well, once I isolated that and I was like, oh, let me go back and see what I did here. I just simply like pulled up another sound. Woohoo. So this is really, check these out, check these sounds out. Uh, 
I was like, so intro. I was like, why not an outro? So, so let's uh, let's record this little outro right here.